Hey all, thanks again for tuning in, much appreciated. Today I want to explore some options I haven't been taking serious. When I think about a computer, or laptop, or iPad, I don't think about a great guitar sound. But I've been playing on digital stuff for over 15 years. Started with this beautiful Zoom 505. And today, as you might know, I'm pretty happy with the Kemper. But a modern computer like this has so much more processing power than modern digital guitar processors. So why can't it sound better? A lot of it has to do with the fact that I really don't like to be scrolling, turning pedals on and off with the trackpad or with the mouse. And of course, wah wah -ing. Waka 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 waka. I wanna have the feeling I'm playing an instrument and not programming software. So this is where the MIDI commander comes in. What it basically is, is a MIDI remote for everything you want to use it for. For us guitarists, that could be the Kemper, or the XFX, or in this case, the software that runs on the PC, Mac, or even your iPad. So I tried treating this situation as if I was building a new rig. How cool would it be to just come to your gigs with this and blow everyone away? And after the show, grab your laptop, put it in a bag, throw it over your shoulder and walk away casually. I need at least um, four different sounds programmed in the slots A, B, C and D. And these presets needed to be adjustable on the fly without touching the laptop. So depending on the kind of software you work with, it could be anything that accepts MIDI to change the parameters. And in my opinion, if it's a serious audio software, it should have MIDI support. It's super easy to program. So I made this preset earlier, stored under A, it's called Match Just Clean. And in the edit section of the preset, you can select MIDI PC. I've chosen zero at the moment, which is the first available preset. And now when I press on button A, we see a zero on the screen of the MIDI commander. And now it chooses that preset. I just have to choose that button. And now we've got something like this. So, pretty awesome sound. I'm uh, referencing this with my headphones, but you can always just have like uh, an amp or speakers or whatever you want to uh, output your sound card to. So a brilliant thing about the MIDI commander is that you can have the so-called uh, host modes. So it changes itself to whatever you've hooked it up with. In this case, I'm running bias effects on my uh, laptop, but it also features a Kemper profiling host mode, for example. This way, the changes made on the MIDI device correspond with what the camper needs to uh, have to change presets, for example. So just to quickly demonstrate this, I hooked the MIDI commander up to my camper amp with just one single MIDI cable. The MIDI commander runs on two AAA batteries right now. And I'm also using the expression pedal hooked up to expression one input. So here is the camper. So right now, if I press the A button, it jumps to preset one in the performance mode. Two, three, four, and five. If I want to bank it up, push main effects. Main effects number two, three, four, and five. It is as easy as that. So I didn't have to do anything other than just enter the MIDI commander in the KMPA host mode and automatically the camper knows what it's receiving. The button one activates the tuner, two and three are for stun boxes. And these are the one, two, three, four, and five slots, A, B, C, D, and E. Now, in these presets, we see a lot of different effects on top, over here. The delay, reverb, mod, and drive. All of these can be linked to one of the four top row switches. So button four, for example, I programmed that one for the delay parameter, turning it on and off. No delay. So it's 
as simple as that. So how do we do that? You just click on the delay, right button, MIDI automation, and then you do MIDI learn. You just click the button, MIDI learn, and now the laptop waits for an incoming MIDI signal. If I press the button I want to assign to that uh, stomp box or effect, just press the button and it says 83, which is the uh, CC number of that button, the continuous controller command. That's basically now it's linked, so now I can press the button and you see the delay turning on and off. Cool. And of course, on number one, the wah wah pedal. Cool. So how does that work? Well, it's pretty straightforward. On the MIDI commander we also have two expression pedal inputs. I hook my expression pedal with the TRS cable, which is tip ring sleeve, stereo cable, from the expression pedal to the MIDI commander. And now, when I move the pedal, you see the fader on the MIDI commander going up and down, which indicates heel down or toe down position. Now when you press the mod MIDI automation, MIDI learned for what? You just move the pedal and it's linked. And now when I move my feet, I can see the same movement on screen, which is pretty dope if you ask me. You can basically do the same with that pedal, hooking it up to all pedals you can think of using a rocking motion. Now let's see what else we got. I made another rig that I stored and linked to knob B. Boom, there it is. So in this rig, I hooked the expression pedal up to a whammy. So this is clean. Let's add a drive sound. And the chorus. And a whammy. Pretty crazy stuff, right? So, now, of course, we need an ambient preset as well. So I made the spacey sound and hooked up the expression pedal to a volume pedal in the app with loads of reverb and delay. So preset three, press button C. Now here we go. So now the expression pedal is turned into a volume pedal. So all with the MIDI commander. And of course we need a lead sound which is stored under button D. A little bit over the top, but we can tweak it if we want. Now we used four presets, but we can store many more because we can go up in banks easily too using the bank up and bank down button. Super easy. So the Mini Commander really is the bridge between having pedals or a dedicated pedal and ha having an iPad or a laptop using the mouse. I can definitely see myself playing a show with the MIDI commander, but I don't want to see the laptop. I just want to have the feeling of pushing these buttons the way pedals feel. When I look at a computer, I still don't really have the feeling that it's made to perform with, but it's just something that is in the mind probably. But the MIDI commander is really working super easy. I didn't have problems hooking it up, it works on any uh, PC or Mac or iPad, you just have to plug it in and then it works. They also deliver the USB to lightning cable for the iPad, which is great. 
Um, so you can just hook it up to your iPad and change presets on the fly, which is pretty awesome. So a few things I like to see, um, the expression pedal at max toe position isn't totally maxed out in the MIDI commander. It says value 125, but MIDI goes to 127. And you can hear that very good when you use the whammy. The high octave is just a little bit too low. It isn't reaching the pure octave. Not quite an E. So you have to correct with a little bit of a bend to make it a nice E. So it would be great to have a calibration setting on the MIDI commander so you can have the max uh, down and the max top position and then it automatically calculates when it's on top and when it's at the bottom. Making this review I realized that the world of software, guitar pedals and FX emulation is nowhere near as developed as I thought it was. But luckily the MIDI commander is super flexible and can adapt itself to a wide variety of different options. And uh, the manuel <laughs> is pretty good and self-explanatory. So um, don't worry if it sounds too complicated. It's pretty straightforward. So do I arrive at gigs with this rig in the near future? Well, I think it might happen. But first, I might explore the possibilities on the iPad instead of the laptop, which you can control as well with the MIDI commander. It might be a little more intuitive. Anyways, this was me talking about this gear and especially the MIDI commander and I hope you liked it. Um, let me know what you think about this modern technology and if it's beneficial for you or if you rather have dedicated audio stuff that can do just one thing. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section and uh, have a wonderful day. Take care. Cheers.